Hello everyone and welcome to day 17 of our craft beer advent calendar. I can't believe that we only have so few beers left to go. I have my beer right here, so if you haven't opened yours, now is your spoiler alert. I'm going to get straight into it. Inside, I have the immediately recognizable Breakaway Hoppy Pale Ale from Nova Beer Project. I am thrilled to have this beer in the pack. It is one of the newest beers uh, around lately in this uh, year of 2021. And to top everything, I actually have the brewer with me today, Anya van Sale. How's it, Anya? Hi, Elaine. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to be part of the Advent calendar for December 2021, of, uh, part of the o'clock. Yes, see, all the way up to Joburg uh, from Cape Town. So, and some people in Cape Town have bought advent calendars, so I sent the beer back to them down in Cape Town. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good news. Tell me a little bit about Nova Beer Project. So I know that you used to be with Hey Joe, um, and I know um, this is probably a project that's very really close to your heart. So do you want to tell us a bit about it? For sure. It's, uh, it's very much of a passion project, um, and it started out in, uh, in June 2021. And just uh, after I left Hey Joe, um, after yeah, brewing there for about four and a half years, um, starting, yeah. off, starting up the brewery and yeah, learned a lot. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of things that, that I wanted to brew myself and uh, just express my passion. And um, Can I guess that cycling is a passion? <laughs> Why? Yes, see. <laughs> the, <laughs> the Nova Beer Project is, is very much... Uh, like it says, a beer project is not just a craft beer brand um, where I get to brew the different style of beers that resonates with me, but it's also an opportunity for me to actually do some additional work in the brewing industry in South Africa. We're doing some gypsy brewing at different breweries, um, traveling around, learning from different brewers. Um, in these times, a lot of breweries actually don't even have capacity to, to full-time um, have a head brewer. Um, so that was the idea, just to help out different breweries um, with the knowledge and experience um, to actually do that. Um, and that way I also get to travel a lot to different breweries and learn different ways and equipment. And yeah, also the, the name Nova means that it um, basically refers to a star that shines bright for a short time. And that speaks very much to my motto in life is to live life live life to the fullest so yes for sure there's a lot of aspects that speaks to me that's close to my heart and I feel I can always just talk about it freely from my heart and just express the passion I have for, for beer and everything in life essentially. That's awesome you know I think um, the craft brewing industry I'm obviously quite new to it but everyone I've spoken to who works in craft brewing just shares that passion um, which is quite amazing to to be talking to an industry where everyone feels that way. So that's been quite lovely. Anya, I'm looking at your can and I'm looking at the bikes on the wall behind you. And I'm wondering, although I can guess, but I'm wondering why you decided to name this beer Breakaway and what does the imagery on the can mean to you? Yeah, Elaine, so basically the Breakaway in, in, in this sense means it's got a threefold meaning. So um, as, in, as a cyclist breaking away from a group of cyclists, um, and, and on the can you can actually see the cyclist in the front, and then which is obviously me in the pink jersey, <laughs> and, then, and then there's cyclists in the, in the background, obviously chasing me um, up the hill. Um, this illustration has actually been done by my partner Janine Bessels, um, that hand drew this. Uh, for me, and actually took a uh, lot of a lot of parts of a photograph that was taken of me up Mont Ventoux, which is a very famous climb um, in the Tour de France. Um, so I had the privilege to go and cycle there a few years ago. Um, so that's obviously a massive, uh, you know, big milestone for me. Um, and the second thing, also breaking away of an established brewery and going on my own. Um, and thirdly, also breaking away, uh, you know, for a weekend or just get out into nature. We all, I think, in these times need to just break away and just relax a little bit and 
get away from the hustle and bustle. And for me, I always feel alive when I'm out in nature, either on my bike or on a hike or a trail run or camping. So I think, um, yeah, it's definitely something that I'm passionate about. Um, and for sure, all the bikes, um, I mean, there's a saying in, in cycling terms, you can, only, you can have N plus one bikes. So there's never enough bikes. <laughs> So, so that's what uh, the breakaway is about. That's lovely. I love also the, the quotes on the can, it's not a race, it's a journey. And I think um, people get stuck in, in the race and forget about the journey. So hopefully as people are sipping on your beer, they, they think about that. And sure. Cool. Anya, should we open up this beer? It's enough, we're waiting a long time now. <laughs> yeah, that's enough <laughs> philosophy. Let's open it up. Oh, love that sound. Yeah, oh, that's good. Okay, so, being a pale ale, I guess you don't want to drink it too cold, eh? Huh? No, mine, uh, I think it's sitting around 7, 8 degrees, if I would guess. Cool. It's oh, a nice colour. That looks great. Yo, I do love the colour. Okay, so we have the Breakaway Hoppy Pale Ale from Nova Beer Project. Man, that smells great. So it's 4.8, eh? So that's actually sessionable, depending on how much beer you drink. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for me, it's, um, it's sessionable, but um, some people might differ. Um, you know, people are, that like the, the light, light lagers. Um, but yeah, for me, it's all about having the, the bitterness, the IBUs, and the alcohol and the body of the beer in the right balance. So for me, I really like to brew beers that's all in balance and, you know, not too, too hop forward or there always needs to be a malt backbone supporting the bitterness. You know what I love, actually, is when, when cans say what hops they've used. So you've got Amarillo, Citra, and Chinook. Yes. That is one of uh, a few of my favorite hops. Um, that's also really good to use for the dry hopping. Um, so I've used some of these hops in the, in the boil as well, um, and then dry hop for five days um, with these hops. Um, th this beer is actually not filtered. Um, that's why it's not completely clear. Um, mm. It's not meant to be drank after six months. It's meant to be drank fresh. Yeah. So obviously that way it retains all the aromatics from the hops and the dry hopping. Um, so yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of the granadella comes through nicely, and some grapefruit. Um, won't say too much tropical, um, but I wasn't really going for that. Um, but yeah, for me, it's a it's a quite nice sessionable beer with a good amount of aroma, mm. kind of a smooth bitterness. Well, I like it. You know, also like even before you sip it, like on the nose, I can I can even smell that malt. Like okay, enough sniffing. Oh, that is lovely. And on the nose, it actually sm smells like it's going to be more bitter than it is. And when you taste it, it's just like a juicy, juicy sip that gives you just a, just enough bitterness to go. But it's not like overwhelming. Not too much. Just <laughs> fruity, malty goodness. Actually, all right. So let's let's taste a little bit of this beer and see what we can unpack. So it definitely has that like bit of grapefruit at the back. You always get that like pithy grapefruit there. But in the front, I'm getting much more mellow flavors. Like I want to say like papaya, maybe like something mellow like a like a mango. Um, nothing like super overwhelming, slight granadilla. But it's not those usual, as you say, like fruit salad, tropical fruit kind of flavors there. Look, this is very much borderline uh, session um, IPA. So, I mean, you could it could go both ways. It's got all the characteristics of a session IPA, uh, but yet, you know, the, the IBUs are slightly on the lower end. Um, but there's still many more beers to come, um, especially in the, in the rest of the Velo series. Uh, so there's definitely two IPAs coming up next. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to explore more on the bitterness and the IPA range. Can't wait, can't wait for those beers. Yes, see. Okay, so um, Anya, tell me, 
you say you have a range, so this is your, you call it your Velo range. Um, have you pre-planned all those beers already? Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's good. And do you wanna do you wanna like, are you gonna tell us when when we can expect them, or you're gonna keep us hanging? Look, I decided that I don't want to overcrowd and overflood um, the brand. Um, I think for me, it's more important to you know focus on one or two beers. Um, obviously, eventually get four beers um, out in the core range. And then make those beers really great because, like you said, I mean, it's, um, it's one thing uh, drinking beer, but it's a whole another story to, to make the beer and to make a good beer. And, yeah, for me, um, going forward, I would definitely like to do early next year um, the second beer in the Velo series. I'm not yet going to reveal exactly what it will be. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about that. Um, so I think within the first um, six months uh, of 2022, I would like to have the full uh, Vela series out, which includes four beers. Um, kind of have a rough idea of what I want to do and how it will look. So everything is pinned down and it's just, it just happened. Okay. Well, that's amazing. So I'm quite excited for that. I think um, I'm very excited by the female brewers in the industry, you know, I know obviously beer is sort of a, a, a man's thing. Um, so I'm very excited to have female brewers like yourself doing amazing things. Um, um, do you want to let us know like where, where can I buy your beer if I want to get hold of it? Um, and maybe where can people follow you on social? Yeah, so firstly beer o'clock, you can buy my beer. <laughs> To be quite honest, I haven't really um, made like a massive amount of effort. So people have been coming to me, which is really amazing. Um, I felt really supported um, by yourself. Uh, Tracy at Woodstock Liquors also reached out. Um, so yeah, you can find my beers at uh, Woodstock Liquors, um, Marnie at Rudant Liquors as well. Um, and then also Biggest Little Beer Shop at the moment. And then also Best Craft Beer um, up in Joburg also sells it online. Uh, so that's we have what we have at the moment, and then obviously directly from me. I don't have an online shop yet, um, so directly from me is the easiest. Okay, that makes sense. So if someone wants to buy from you, how can they get in touch? Right. So basically by email. So it's brewer at novabeerproject.coza, or go and follow me please on Instagram. So that's where I think the two most and the best places is to, to get a hold of me and to, to order some beer. Awesome. Awesome. Anya, thank you very much. Really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and really looking forward to the rest of your Velo range. Um, sounds like there's some very cool things in store. Cool. Thanks, Elaine. I appreciate it. Thank you for the time and I uh, hope everyone enjoyed the breakaway. Oh, definitely. Cheers. I challenge anyone to try and keep this beer for six months. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Cheers.